Uh, I'd probably say when I was like 12 or 13, I remember telling my parents that I wanted to, basketball is what I wanted to do, that I wanted to, you know, be great at it and, and be a professional basketball player. Uh, playing at St. John's is probably one, one of the best decisions I made, just to surround with the great people on and off the court. Uh, my high school coaches were really great, uh, prepared me for, you know, what I was going to experience in Maryland. Okay. Initially, I never wanted to stay close to home. Uh, I kind of wanted to go to Tennessee, UConn. I'm like, you know, everybody growing up, you sure. want to go to those schools, but once you go through the process and you think about what you want, um, I wanted to go to a school that hadn't been there, done that, hadn't won any championships, but had the opportunity to do so. So Maryland just had all the right pieces, and I knew I was going to play with, play with a great coach and play with some great players. Definitely. Uh, everything about uh, going to University of Maryland has helped me get to where I am right now, and I, I have so many great memories uh, from Maryland. Playing with such a close-knit team is not something that a lot of people can say that they experienced in college. Coming from St. John's, it actually wasn't too hard. St. John's being uh, one of the tougher uh, private schools in the area, so kind of taught me time management and, and how to handle handle certain things. Uh, I'll probably say maybe eighth or ninth grade when I started getting recruiting letters and uh, coaches were starting to show up to practices and games. It's special. I mean, I, I've had I have fans that have followed me since you know some middle school, but mostly high school. So you know, it's special when fans come to me and say, you know, they followed me since St. John's, they followed me since Maryland, and. Just to be here and see familiar faces all the time and have my family and friends at all my games is, is, is special and not something, not something a lot of people um, have the opportunity to do. I'm trying to improve on everything, honestly, you know, I want to be a WNBA All-Star, want to play in the Olympics, so you know there's always room for improvement no matter, you know, how good you are or who you are. Uh, after basketball, I love sports, all sports actually, so I want to get into some form of journalism. I like to write, so either... Uh, on camera or off camera, uh, would like to do something in the uh, broadcast with it. You know, uh, this is one of the premier areas for, for basketball in the country, and uh, I know a lot of coaches, college coaches, uh, WNBA coaches know this is um, one of the meccas for women's basketball. Just keep working and, and make sure that you have your priorities straight. What's the one thing you would say to the young ladies at the DMV? Who's next?